In Europe, you can get almost anywhere on a train. The railways connect London in the UK with Amsterdam in the Netherlands, and you can travel from Zurich in Switzerland all the way to Budapest in Hungary. But one area that's always proven a sticky point is when travellers want to get from Austria, over the Alps and into Italy. It's all going to change now, as Europe is drilling through a mountain range to build the world's longest rail tunnel. The tunnel is called the Brenner Base Tunnel, and when it opens, it will become the longest underground rail connection in the world. And it will provide a high-speed rail link under the Swiss Alps between Northern and Southern Europe. Switzerland says it will revolutionize European freight transport. With Amped Up Tech, let's dig into why exactly Europe is building a 57-kilometer tunnel through a mountain. The Brenner Base Tunnel is a 57-kilometer-long railway tunnel under construction through the base of the Eastern Alps beneath the Brenner Pass. Upon completion, it will be the second or third longest railway tunnel in the world, after the Gotthard Base Tunnel in Switzerland and, depending on their relative completion dates, the Mont dambin Base Tunnel between France and Italy. It will run from near Innsbruck in Austria to Franzenfest in Italy, replacing part of the current Brenner Railway. The line is part of Line 1, the Berlin to Palermo route of Trans-European Transport Networks, or 10T. The tunnel will take travellers from Innsbruck in Austria across the Alps and into Fortezza in Italy. When connected to the underground rail systems in Innsbruck, the total length of this underground railway will be 64 kilometres. To build this monster rail link, engineers began excavating beneath the mountains of Austria in 2015. They are working to construct three tunnels as part of the system. The first is a service tunnel that will also be used to assess the ground conditions. The project is being developed by BBT, a European public limited company. Austrian railway company Österreichische Bundesbahnen holds a 50% share in BBT, while the remaining 50% is owned by Tunnel Ferroviario del Branero on behalf of Italy. Excavations have been completed along 152 kilometers of the 230 kilometers of tunnels of the project. Construction of the BBT project is expected to be completed by 2032. According to the final configuration estimates, the Brenner section will have the capacity to withstand a weight of 400 trains, or 222 cargo trains and 42 passenger trains in the base tunnel. Initially, 22 cargo trains will use the existing lines and 182 will pass through the tunnel. The number of cargo trains traveling through the tunnel is expected to increase to 201 within five years. The BBT is a 55 kilometer long straight, flat railway tunnel which will run through the Eastern Alps. The Inn Valley Tunnel, located south of Innsbruck, connects to the BBT. The two tunnels will have a combined length of 64 kilometers, forming one of the world's longest underground railway connections. The BBT system will consist of about 230 kilometers of tunnels, forming the central link of the Scandinavian Mediterranean 10 corridor between Helsinki, Finland and La Valletta, Malta. The tunnel is expected to have a design speed of 120 km an hour for freight traffic and 250 km an hour for passenger traffic. The tunnel infrastructure will comprise two main tubes, an exploratory tunnel, four lateral access tunnels, side tunnels and connecting tunnels. Each tube will have a single track running through it. The Brenner Tunnel will be located at an altitude of 790 meters, below the lowest alpine pass at 1,370 meters. It will have a slope between 4% and 7%. Side tunnels will be used to link the two main tunnel tubes every 333 meters to provide escape routes in the event of emergencies. The two single track tubes of the main tunnel system will have a diameter of 8.1 meters each and will be 40 meters to 70 meters apart. An exploratory tunnel with a diameter of 5 meters will be located 12 meters below the two tunnel tubes to test the rock. The test results are used for the main tunnel construction in order to reduce the construction risk and save costs and time. The spoil will be taken out through the exploratory tunnel while building the main tubes to avoid any interruptions to construction. The exploratory tunnel is also expected to function as a drainage tube for underground water that accumulates across tunnels. The tunnel system will be installed with a 25 kilovolt, 50 hertz traction system. Furthermore, the project will have three underground emergency stops in Innsbruck, St. Jodock and Trends. The four lateral access tunnels in Mules, Wolf, 
Arvental and Ampas will provide to connectivity from the underground stations to the outside. About 50% of the tunnel's excavation will be completed using tunnel boring machines, or TBMs, and the remaining 50% through drilling and blasting. Equipment used for digging comprises of TBMs, explosives, mechanical diggers with hydraulic hammers and drilling equipment. Prospection boreholes totaling 35,000 meters were drilled as part of project planning to understand the geological conditions of the mountain. Equipment to be installed in the tunnel system will include rails and vibration shock absorbers, ventilation and air conditioning, telecommunications and surveillance systems, command and control systems, electrical traction systems, energy supply systems, machinery and emergency systems. Construction is currently taking place at five sites across Austria and Italy. The H21 Sill Gorge construction lot, which is expected to be completed by the end of 2024, will provide a connection between the BBT and the central station in Innsbruck. It includes a 600-meter section and other works. The lot covers the area through the narrow Sill Gorge and involves mostly above-ground construction. Construction works in the lot include a 200-meter long supporting wall, two railroad bridges over the Sill, a 130-meter long cut and cover tunnel, and the northern portal of the BBT. Excavation works for the western part of the main tube commenced in October 2021, followed by the drill and blast excavation at the northern portal site in November 2021. The H41 construction site is located in the northern portion of the BBT, between Fons in the south and the Sill Gorge in the north. The site was set up in January 2022, while excavation activities in the direction of Innsbruck began in July 2022. The lot will involve the excavation of 22.5 kilometers of main tunnel tubes and 38 cross passages by summer 2028. All works on the H33 Tulsfons lot was completed in September 2021. It included the construction of the Tulsa Emergency Tunnel, main tunnel tubes, connecting tunnels, Innsbruck Emergency Stop and Arental Fonds Exploration Tunnel. The H52 Hochstaken construction lot is situated in the Stanach and Brenner Township. The groundbreaking event for the construction lot was conducted in May 2022. The lot H53, one of the longest stretches of the Austrian side of the project, will be located between the township of Gries and Brenner to the south and Fons to the north. The tender process for the lot was started in January 2022. The construction of lot H61, named Mules 23, is one of the biggest lots of the project, extending from the Isarco River underpass construction lot area to the Austrian state border. The H71 Isarco River underpass construction lot is the southernmost construction lot of the BBT project. It will connect the BBT to the current Brenner line and the Fortezza train station. The BBT is a top priority infrastructure project for the European Union, or the EU, which is contributing up to 50% of its expenses. The remaining expenses will be divided equally between Austria and Italy. The EU co-financing for the project between 2016 and 2023 is equal to 50% of the costs for the exploratory tunnel and 40% of the costs for the main tunnels. The estimated cost of the project is more than 8 billion euros, or 11.53 billion dollars. The new tunnel is estimated to reduce the travel time between Innsbruck and Fortezza from 80 minutes to 25 minutes. It will also reduce traffic congestion on the road network. The BBT will use ERTMS, ETCS Level 2 and GSMR systems. ERTMS, European Rail Traffic Management Systems, comprise two components, the European Train Control System, or ETCS, and Global Systems for Mobile Communications Railway, or GSMR. The tunnel will have the capacity to withstand up to 1,300 degrees C. A fire extinguisher will be installed within the tunnel. The project includes conducting surveys to determine flow rate, electrical conductivity and temperature, as well as chemical analysis of water levels and testing on drinking water for the presence of bacteria. The Brenner Base Tunnel is a project of the century. It will be a core element of the trans-European corridor between Scandinavia and the Mediterranean and set a new standard for crossing the Alps while also earning the title of the longest underground railway connection in the world. Without a doubt, the Brenner Base Tunnel will be a central artery for rail transport in Europe. And that's all for today, folks. We hope you enjoyed the details we brought to you about the Europe's 57 km long tunnel. If yes, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. For more such informative videos, hit the bell icon so you don't miss out. Until then, peace out.